How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. It's around 3.30 p.m. and I kind of need a pick-me-up, so I'm going to make a cup of coffee. What I have over here is a premium espresso maker. This costs about $700 on Amazon and it's made in Italy. It has very, very high quality parts. And after using this machine for quite a while, I noticed that my machine leaks a little bit. It would drip from the back over here, so I think something is loose in there, but that's just a finer point. After having quite a bit of experience making the coffee and dialing everything in, I feel like my espressos or lattes that I make are somewhat on par with the good coffee places. Now the thing that keeps it from being really, really good, it's probably freshly roasted coffee beans. Right now, this is not very, very fresh. These are just supermarket brand from Sprouts and I just got this in bulk. Even with not so fresh coffee beans, it's still better than 90% of the coffee shops out there. I also use this manual coffee grinder. Some people are believers of manual ones, but personally, I just didn't want to invest another couple hundred dollars on a grinder since this one does the job. And I don't even drink coffee that much. I probably drink coffee maybe once every two or three weeks or so. This espresso maker comes with two shot version or the one shot version. Today, I'm only gonna make one shot. So I added an extra nut over here to lock this mechanism in place. Or else what happens is when you start using this too many times, this starts to loosen and the grind size changes on you. So if you want more details about this nut that I put in on this and maybe you wanna try it on your own, I'll leave a video to that over here. Now I'm gonna put this on. While you're grinding the coffee, it takes a while, maybe a few minutes. So you're gonna turn this on to um, just basically heat up the water. This machine is a single boiler. You need two different temperatures to make coffee. One to steam the milk and a lower temperature to make the coffee. So when you want to steam milk, you need to turn this thing on to indicate you want higher temperature. Now you gotta wait for this light over here to turn off, which indicates that it's not heating anymore. In other words, it's heated hot enough. First, I only need about half a teaspoon of sugar. Just add whatever amount of sugar you like in your one shot espresso latte. This is my pre-made almond milk. It's basically 2.8 ounces of raw almonds mixed with one and a half cup of water. Blend it all together. I put it in a Blendtec blender and then after you pour it all out, pour another half cup in, mix it around to get the rest of the juices and then strain it through a cheesecloth and then you pour this in here. Some stuff tends to gather at the bottom so I need to shake this a bit. Eight tablespoons of this four, eight. And back to the coffee grinding over here. So I'm just gonna grind this. This is set on espresso grind. It's very, very fine. Before I added the nut into this manual coffee grinder, I had a really hard time dialing everything in when the grind size kept on changing on me. Sometimes I would get a really tasty coffee. Other times there'll be a lot of water because the grind size is too big. So yeah, you need the grind size to be fixed if you're going to dial anything in. Sometimes you gotta move the coffee beans a little bit so that it gets inside the grinding part of this mechanism. The light just turned off over here indicating that the steam is ready. Still grinding the coffee so it can wait for me. I have this fancy Molta tampering thing. This is stainless steel, very heavy. Right now there is some trapped cold water in here. So right when you turn on this knob, steam is not gonna come out of here. So if you use this right away with your milk, some water is gonna get in your milk. You don't want that. You want the steam to come out first. So you're gonna turn this on to let some of the water out. Okay, now it's steam. You see, a good two tablespoons of water just came out of there. I have sugar in here already, so as I steam it, it's going to mix in with the milk. It's gonna make it kind of like a sweet milk.
Now the water in this boiler is still steaming temperature. So what we want to do is turn off this steaming temperature thing and then we want to eject some water. Now what this does is it cools down the temperature in the boiler so that we can brew some coffee without burning the coffee. Turn on the pump to eject water. And then you twist the knob to open up the valve. And what you're waiting for now is for the steam to turn into water. Now it's water coming out and you're waiting for this light to turn on, indicating that the temperature is low enough. Oh, right there, stop. Okay, so now the temperature is really low. This is wet. We want to clean this off because we want to clean it every time. Be kind of tidy on everything. The sad thing about having one single boiler is that you'll have this wasted heated water over here. You just dump this out. But the good thing about this is that your cup will be very, very hot to drip the espresso into. I have the ground coffee in here that's all tampered. We're going to put this in here. And then put the cup in. And I like to set a timer for about 30 seconds. You can do somewhere between 25 to 35 seconds. It takes about four seconds before espresso will come out of the spout. So now that this light turned off, it indicates that the water is hot enough again, but it might be a little bit too hot. So you just wait, you know, about 20 seconds or so before you start the brewing. As I'm talking, it's long enough already. So I'm going to turn on a timer and I'm going to commence brewing for about 34 seconds. Okay, now we have the espresso over here. It smells very good and it looks like there's not that much espresso in there. Well, this is one shot. Uh, I'm gonna pour this in because you don't want it to sit without mixing it for too long. And I'm gonna make sure I get all the bubbles. And here's what it looks like. Let's give this a shot. Mm. When I was making it in the beginning, I burned the almond milk. It separated. It was all funny. This tastes way better than brewed coffee. And I've had brewed coffee for quite a while. So it's really, really good to have this machine around. And don't forget, after you're done, you can just go ahead and turn it off. The boiler inside is just going to cool down. You also want to do your cleanup over here. You just flip it inside out and dump it onto some newspaper. It's a little wet here. And this guy, I just kind of do an origami fold. Then you fold this in like that. And then because this layer only has one layer of paper, I fold it back like that and tuck this in and ha ha, look at this. This is completely compostable. You can stick this in the compost and it won't get everywhere. So that's all there is for making your perfect cup of latte. Thanks for watching. Give me a like over here, comment down below. Let me know if you use the same method or maybe you were thinking of getting one of these. And as always, don't forget to press that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>